What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Silent One preset. And today's preset, we're be gonna be doing this weird. I I say it's old school, but it's really not that old school. I'd say probably like um 2008, nine area, maybe even a little earlier. A lot of the house music I was listening to kind of had a similar lead vibe going. So I made this synth. It's uh, the first synth we're using, part A and B, uh, all four oscillators in Silent One. This is what it sounds like. So, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of... Um, um, I want to say class C or K L A A S. I want to say is the house producer or whatever. Um, I haven't heard any of his new stuff, but his older stuff. Uh, it it reminded me of stuff like that around that time. Um, so yeah, that is the preset. I know you're here for the knowledge, so let's get into dissecting this preset. First things first, I just slapped the polyphony up all the way to 16. I put it on the quarter pulse, which is kind of like a square, just moved over to the side. And I put four voices on it, and I kept it basically all the same besides the detuning. I started detuning it till it got nice and thick. So let me um, turn that voice off, turn this voice off, and turn this voice off. So now we have this preset. And the little crackling it's doing, it's because of me filming. And usually I have the video, my video in, um, or like the video of me layered on top of the screen. I usually have that in around 720, but not wide. I have it like in just the square block. Um, but this one I left on, um, I think 720 wide or maybe even 1080. So my computer is lagging a little bit. So those are what those crackles are, but you could hear what the sound is. Alright, and then once I got that, and then I went over here and added a voice, and literally all I did was turn down the volume, so it would be like this. So you see, I'm just layering it in there, making the sound more thick. And that, that's basically what I did on this side. Um, I'll show you the filter in a second, but it's really not doing anything. So then over here in the, uh, the part B, I have the pulse, which, you know, to me, I call it a square, but yeah, so pulse, square. And then I slapped a voice on it, and now it sounds like this. You can see that's down two octaves, and this was just layering a bass into the synth. So now it's really thick. You know, it has the high, it has the mid, and it, now it has the lows. And again, you just turn it down until it sounds good. Then the last, but not least, is the white noise, which is if it, when it's all the way up, it's very loud. So even at that volume, you could still hear it peeking out, and it that's just like the little sparkle on top, making the sound nice and thick. Um, that's the preset, you know. Most of the craziness is going to come from the writing and the little quick notes I have, the swings and stuff, which add to it, but um, that's the preset, and all I did on this cutoff A, we're back in part A now, I did a low pass on, and I left it all the same, and I have A and B going into the filter, but I just wanted a little cutoff on, so...
So I'm just cutting off the highs of this. And basically all I'm doing is just taking off the really highs that the white noise is most likely going to fill in anyways. So that's why I kind of took that off of this part A section. Cut off some of the little highs, highs, like the high, high, the piercing highs. <laughs> um, so it's very minimal because the, these didn't have much anyways. I just wanted to clean it up again so the white noise could sit on top. Um, but that's the preset. Let's get into the effects now. So first I did distortion. So let's turn distortion off. So I was using the clip and basically all I did was just get it grittier, more mean and aggressive. I didn't want it so clean and thin sounding. I wanted to, you know, beef it up a bit. And that's what the distortion got me. Then after that, I did the reverb. And this is just 25%. I pulled the size down to 1.3. Everything else is the same. So you see it has this uh, little tail giving it a nice easy release. Um, you could also do that with this. So that way the actual sound has a release on it. But I wanted the reverb to give us the little tail release thing. Uh, and then the delay, which you really don't hear when it's playing. But I'll, I'll, you know, I'll click on the notes down here. So it just kind of has that little delay over there. And it really just... Thickens up the sound when it's playing on the speakers. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that thumbs up. If you want this preset and all the other presets, click that first link, join.tarrant.info, to sign up. And if you just want this preset, you scroll down, find that direct preset download link, and the preset is yours.